Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 21 and over. So today what I want to talk to you about is, uh, <coughs> basically what I want to talk to you about is, uh, I guess I want to say something about parenting and cannabis usage. Um, I was kind of inspired by a, a YouTuber called Jane Dro. If you can look her up on YouTube, I'll put the link down there below. But about how to uh, tell your children that you're medicating with cannabis. Uh, for me, <laughs> you know, my son just kind of my son always knew that I was medicating for, with cannabis. I have my uh, recommendation. He knows a lot about cannabis. He doesn't smoke cannabis and you know if he ever was interested in it he could ask me anything and he could research, research it online. Um, I don't think it should be such a big taboo this herb in general so let's smoke a joint for that. Uh, I'm smoking a joint roll from uh, I think it's Lavender Kush. Uh, no it's not Lavender Kush it's Girl Scout cookie, um, <clears throat> Girl Scout cookie trim is what it is, so, cheers. Well, so yeah, basically, he knows, you know, he knows that I partake in cannabis, it's not a secret. I think when people, when parents hide this, if you have, you have, um, so you have your, uh, recommendation. <clears throat> and you have your conditions that you're treating it for. This is medicine, so you don't need to be ashamed of it at all or hide and be secretive about it because when your child finds out that you're partaking in this herb, they may not know what you're doing. They may think it's something that's not right or you're doing something wrong. I mean, he's witnessed me smoking, and he noticed how it makes me feel and what it does for me. And he's not oblivious to that fact. And this doesn't make him want to go out and smoke, you know, or, or sneak some of my cannabis and smoke it. He's not interested in it at all. And that's just such, it's such false statements that have been put out for years about how cannabis is a gateway drug when actually in my opinion alcohol is a gateway drug <laughs> you know <coughs> so as far as this goes i think that it's important for parents to be very honest with their children as much as they can, you know what I mean? Um, if they have questions, try to answer the questions as best as you can. If you don't know the answers, look up the answers. Look them up together, talk about it together. Because there's some teenagers that really are suffering out there. I mean, there could be some teenagers having social anxiety problems, bipolar, <coughs> excuse me, bipolar disorder, schizophrenic I mean there's teenagers that are schizophrenic uh, ADHD all these kind of conditions can help uh, with help teens or you know that have these kind of things they have to deal with every day on a daily basis on top of that go to high school and then on top of that try to fit into a clique you know try to fit in somewhere and it's stressful for those teenagers A lot of times adults would just like dismiss their problems because they're wrapped up in their own bullshit, you know, their own daily life shit. So that, listen to, listen to your children, please listen to them, no matter what age I'm doing like this, small, medium, or large, <laughs> listen to them. That's how you become uh, more efficient at um, communicating with your son or daughters by listening to them with an open heart and an open mind. 
because they're on this journey for a totally different reason that you're on it probably. They've got their own spiritual path too. So That's all I have to say about that today, man. This is really strong. <laughs> Everybody knows about Girl Scout cookie, right? If you don't, find out. <laughs> it's a hybrid, and it's mainly indica, so. It's pretty, pretty dense and intense. Not for beginners. <laughs> all right. Thank you for joining me, everybody, today for this little uh, smoke session. I might talk about... Uh, you know, just kids in general listening to them, you know, when they ask you questions, try to answer them as honestly as you can. Because if you don't, they're, gonna, they're not going to trust you. I mean, you think you can't trust your your child, your, your little kid, your middle-sized kid, your teenager. They probably can't trust you if you're not consistent in uh, being attentive to what they're trying to tell you. Alright guys, thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing, thank you for viewing, thank you for the kind comments, I appreciate them and yeah, take it easy, treat people, you know, almost equally, don't look down on somebody because they're younger than you, age is a number, okay, don't talk down to, you know, your children. Because they're going to know that's what you're doing. They're smarter than you think. Alrighty, guys. Take care. Get outside. Enjoy what Mother Nature has to offer for you for this day. And I'll see you soon. Peace.